Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I told you I'd start back over here, so anyway, let's go inside and see if we can figure out uh oh. Beware of shield gobbling monsters ahead. Those who have lost a shield can purchase a shiny new one at Lineback Trading. <laughs> Of course, of course, he is the one that put the sign up. So there's like likes around here, and uh, you might want to, uh, well, do that before you try attacking them because they will absolutely suck your shield in like no one's. Well, you know, I'll show you once. <laughs> oh, it didn't suck my shield in. Good, good. But <laughs> sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't, and you can end up losing a shield that way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man! <laughs> and yeah, like likes, they be dangerous. And they also have a strangely sh <laughs> wide hitbox time. Like, it takes a while to actually destroy them because between hits it takes like a couple seconds before they're vulnerable again. Uh, Alright, let's. Oop, no, no, I wanna plop that there. There we go. <laughs> we gotta get those stamps. We cannot forget those stamps. All right, so <laughs> here we go. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to get that regal ring. And yeah, we got a line back the third on there. Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're back outside. No need to worry. No more, no more dangers. But there is a new song. Uh, well, actually, it, well, it's it's longer than that. It's it's purple. Yeah, it's purple all the way to white. Oh shoot! Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, purple all the way to white in order. Woo! You can use this to light up certain stuff, and we'll you we'll be using it immediately. <laughs> This is, yeah, it basically activates these things. You got the Song of Light! Play it to activate the beacons! I, I, I already seen. So, okay, here we go. Here rests the legendary Captain Lineback. Rip. Lineback. Rip. Gone, but not forgotten. As a matter of fact, you still feel like you're still here. <laughs> if you think about it, there's this someone that's definitely... Definitely followed in his wake anyway. <laughs> See those leaf piles on the ground? Yeah, you can blow them with said windy gust of whirlwind, so yeah, you might might find some goodies under there every so often, like rupees or treasures or stuff like that. So you might wanna might wanna blow that stuff out and whatnot. But hmm. Bombs, well what well what could that light possibly be pointing to anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, a switch! I see! Well, that makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> it only seemed like a dead end unless you follow the light. Yeah, the beacons are basically like your uh, hints as to where to go. And oh, look at that! A, bro a wall! And we seen some bombs just a second ago. Would be a shame if someone put a bomb by that uh, freshly repaired wall, huh? Oh man, it's broken open again. <laughs> so I guess Lineback the Third hasn't figured out how to get this far. So far, well, maybe he probably didn't even try. <laughs> In all honesty, so I'm gonna clear out the enemies of this room first. That includes a, a rather suspicious-looking treasure chest. <laughs> Like, watch, look how, look how long I have to wait to actually hit this. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're trying to recover. They're using invulnerability frames to recover to get ya. Okay, so now, uh, oh, one more. <laughs> so, obviously, so we got, since we got the new song, start from purple, go down the white. That was way too fast for the rhythm of the song, but that's how it sounds normally. <laughs> And so what what are we lighting these things for anyway? Well, remember I said that we have to read a letter that we got from uh Ye Ol Lineback. Well, it's actually original Lineback, not Lineback the 3rd. Yeah. So it contains hints 
in regards to this room, so let's figure out what those hints might be now that we're here, shall we? From Lineback. My dear boy, even though I'm no longer with you, I'm sure you're faring well. But just in case you run into some hard times, I've left some depth for you. <laughs> I buried a really regal ring in a safe spot for you to claim. It wouldn't be fun if I told you exactly where, though, would it? Use these clues to find it. To enter the hiding spot, follow the light and follow its beam. Inside, go four steps north and six steps west from where the lights cross. And that's where you'll discover the treasure. Best of luck to you! Ha <laughs> ha! Lineback Senior. So actually, I probably should have read this when I was by that first beacon because... Uh, whoops, I'm a little too far back there. Yeah, because this first step here, it indicates, you know, that you're supposed to follow the beam, but I figured that was obvious anyway, I guess. <laughs> so, alright, you go from where the beams cross, four steps up, six steps over, and you end up at this corner. Yeah, it's, it's really easy to remember. And then you, of course, play... The Song of Discovery, because remember we got that hint from the Gossip Stone? A little while back that we needed the Song of Discovery. Oh man, we can't be popped up on top of the chest in this game. That's disappointing. <laughs> I got a real ring! Woo! Very rare! Very valuable! As a matter of fact, I believe this is the only item in the collection screen that's always the same value of 2,500. So if you can get yourself a regal rings, and I'll show you a way how to get unlimited regal rings. Actually, I think there's two ways of getting it. Uh, you can get quite a lot of moolah, so you'll you'll be able to get that tart piece over by Beetle pretty dang quick. <laughs> So, and uh, let me just tell you that we, we aren't as uh, poor as I made it seem also, because uh, remember that first place prize that we got from uh, uh, from winning that contest? I was going to click on the... Yeah, it's this. It's 2,500 as well. <laughs> so yeah, if you can get some, uh, get some of the rarest prizes like that in the game, the rarest are of course the... The most expensive. Voila! Be f you're gonna be filling up your wallet like crazy. So yeah, this was the gossip zone that we heard that we needed the Song of Discovery to find the chest, but we did it. <laughs> What's that look for? You got a strange twinkle in your eye? Why, you devil, you found the regal ring, didn't you? Not yet. Well, quit standing around with that dopey grin and get back to looking. So, now notice also, um, remember our debt, well, I should say his debt, is 8,000. This is only worth 2,500. <laughs> so, yup, let's go! <laughs> I knew I could count on you to bring home the bacon squirt! Well, where is it? Let me take a look at the thing. And so he does. Oh, it's just breathtaking. Camp's always had an eye for treasure like this. I heard she used to steal it from some lady, but... We'll never find out who, he never wrote it down. The weight, the amazing craftsmanship, this beauty is worth a ton for sure. Oh yeah, I don't say. Must be one heck of a ring then. You bet it is, it's gotta be worth a cool 8,000 rupees! <laughs> hey, where'd you get here? How long have you been standing there? And... Just came by, let you know the bridge is all patched up. Oh, oh, yes, that's right, wonderful. Sure is, and now the work's done, I'll take that ring as payment. So this little doodad's worth 8,000 rupees? Could've fooled me! Oh, dang it, he checked his inventory. Still, it beats taking another IOU. If you need anything else, just give me a holler. ba doo be doo bo doo be doo Actually, it's slowing down the game for whatever reason, okay. You don't believe he just took off with that ring. It's worth almost double what I owed. It's not. <laughs> Crud. I guess that's that. Still, you've got a real talent for sifting out treasure. Oh, tell you what, from here on out, bring any treasure you find to me. If they impress me, I'll trade you some lovely new train cars for those trinkets. Sounds like a sweet deal? That's cause it is! Now get out there and find me something shiny, my little treasure hunter. Can't wait to see what you bring my way. Bye now! Well, actually, maybe the ring is worth that much, but he doesn't give you that much for it if you were to sell him a ring. But basically, this is Lineback's trading post. Well, Lineback Third's trading post. Hey there, my little money man. <coughs> Oops. My intrepid treasure hunter. What can Lineback Trading Company help you with? So you can check out the train cars. If you've got the goods, I've got a shiny new train car with your name on it. But we probably don't have the right things. 
Uh, so we'll just say okay to that, and it'll tell you how much you need for each of these things. That yeah, you you probably will not. They're all optional, but they're they're helpful in certain ways. Let's just put it that way. But basically, you trade treasures for these things, and you can get loads upon loads of stuff for your train. And there's only well, maybe not that many things. <laughs> Oh, wait a sec. Did that say, holy pooper, the golden engine is here? Holy poopers. Holy poopers. Those are the golden train parts are the best parts in the game. I thought that that only appears here later on in the game. Hmm. Hmm. Well, anyway, I don't have enough for any <laughs> for anything, but that's... Okay, but yeah, you can't even really see the train cars if you go into the menu and because they're, they're shadowed out and stuff like that. But you can also... Trade in treasure for rupees. Say so he'll pay you the, yeah the value that you see in your inventory, but you know in theory he sells them for more. So maybe the alchemy stone and the regal ring are actually worth ten thousand, but since it's like a pawn shop, they buy low and sell high. <laughs> so yeah, keep this place in mind for your trading needs. You might even be able to get some train parts to boost your hearts of your trains. Let's just put it that way. Well, maybe. I mean, remember the treasures that you get from the train parts are random and whatnot, so... Yeah. Woo! It was no easy task, but we finally opened a path to the ocean realm. You ready to head out there, Link? Sure! Let's be on our way, then! We're not actually going over there. We're gonna go and do a little couple of side quests, because I'd like to bolster in my heart containers before we get into some harder stuff. So I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna go this way to Castle Town, and hopefully I'll be able to avoid the demon trains. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, and actually, I think they might actually be called dark trains, not demon trains, but I've heard them be called both things, so I'm not sure. I kind of like the name demon trains more based on their dark and evil face that you see coming at ya. <laughs> Holy poopers, this is gonna be close. Oh! Holy jeez. Oh, now this one's coming that way? Come on, man. Give me a break. <laughs> Come on. Let me, let me go through here. I don't know if, which direction it's gonna go now. But yeah, as I said before, these uh, little triple junctions here are pretty handy little... Oh, it's going straight now, so that means... We want to turn down this way so we avoid them, but yeah, triple junctions, very, very nice way of avoiding the trains of death. So no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how's it going there, guy? <laughs> All right, now we should be able to make it over to whoops, make it over to the castle without much ire. In fact, I thought I'd probably just change my route too. Now I can take the shorter route since they've decided to group down there. Boy, you guys are quick today. Look at look at this. Look at this. One just popped right on up over here. Just just where I was heading to, and yeah, look at that. Look, you you stinker. You stinker. You stinker. Okay, I'm I'm backing in to Castle Town. <laughs> Seems like a, it's just to be the fastest way at this point, I think, even though you're slower backwards, but I'd have to turn myself around technically twice at that point, but yeah. So why are we back over here at Castle Town? Side quests! Yay! Plus, remember, we've got bombs now, so we can explore this town a little bit more. Because uh, remember over here, early in the game, I showed you there was a bunch of cracked blocks over here. Yep. I'll get those back when I come back through here, but for now, let's go ahead and do some swordsman training. How does that sound? Probably pretty boring. Eh, maybe not. You'll see. <laughs> okay. So, here we are. New minigame. Oh, so you've come back, recruit. Have you been training? Well, then let's have a little training game, shall we? No. Ah, <laughs> too soon for the trick to take flight. Well, come back when you're ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Game! Yep, the rules are simple. Hit my three men there as many times as you can. If you hit them enough times, I'll give you something nice. Wanna try? Eh, not sure. Ah, uh -huh. oh, same dialogue. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Okay, 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 game. Okay, so our objective here is to hit them 60 times. What? <laughs> Alright, I need the fees to make the kingdom a safer place. It's not like I'm going to pocket the money myself. Okay, maybe a little of it. The way of the sword is not for those with small hearts or small wallets. Oh, what? You you won't let me even... Okay, fine. I thought he was gonna, um... I thought he was gonna have, like, a, after his explanation, then he gave me the choice. Okay, so you've gotta hit them while not being hit. Basically. I do believe. Yes. So look out. Oh! Yeah, you gotta watch out for the duders all around you, basically. And, oh no, yeah, but they, but they, when they charge up their spear, they do a little... They do a little side movement, the little twirly flip of fanciness, and they always shoot it out where they are facing you. So, yeah. As a matter of fact, you could probably find it easy to just kind of keep stunning them like that in some ways, but it's, sometimes it seems like that they decide, eh, I'm, I'm going to just fire off my spear and not stop anyway. Whoops. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. We've, we've still got one health left there at the upper left corner. It's alright, we'll make it to 60 on our first try. I hope. <laughs> no guys, no guys. No, 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 just... You're basically trying to isolate them, if at all possible. As it makes things a little bit easier that way, so that you don't have to worry about multiple ones coming from behind or anything like that. Now once we get over 60, I'll just I'll just take a hit on purpose, there we go. Just to end it off. Now you can get all sorts of treasure from here as well, but I'm just gonna stop at 60 at this moment. Hmm, 61 times, not bad for a new recruit. Here, let me give you this reward for your efforts. It's a heart container! You'll be real swords in no time. Come polish your skills whenever you feel like it. So, next time you get um, a another 60 or a 60 up to 119, I think, because I think next uh, amount is 120, you get uh, sort of kind of rare treasure. And then you get, and then after 120, you get the next treasure level up, a rare treasure. And then after uh, 200, you should, I believe, get a regal ring. I'm not sure if you can get unlimited regal rings from this though, but there is a place in the game that you can. It's just that it's kind of tedious to get real rings this way, IMO. So this is probably won't be the method that I'll get regal rings for treasure. But hey, this is a place that you can get some good treasure. <laughs> in the meantime though, I'm just gonna go back out and continue to explore Hyrule Town. Now that we've got the powers of explosives in our hands. Why did I go that way? This is That's too early for me to go that way. Now I can go that way. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, pop those bombs out, and begin our roof hopping adventure. I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, really? I can't like. I can't. I can do it that way. So it won't, it won't stay if I throw it up there, but it will if I just place it there. That kind of makes sense actually, because the stairs, you know, they're like little platforms, but. Chances are, if you throw something on the stairs, it'll probably roll down. <laughs> you know, I probably shouldn't accidentally use up my bombs either. They're kind of scarce at this point, so I'm just gonna switch to something that I won't accidentally use. Behold, a stamp station! Yes! We can finally get the stamp over here, and that's what she looks like. <laughs> Alright, let's go around, because as you know, there were a couple of treasures that we've seen on the edges of the walls and stuff like that, so we're gonna go ahead and hop around the said edges and see what we find. Oh wow, that's that's not as much as getting a regal ring, let's put, put it that way. <laughs> I suppose it's a little bit helpful, but... Well, anyway, let's go around the other way. I don't, I don't remember if there's something the other way, though. What am I stuck on? Was I, like, scraping against the building or something? I don't know. Alright, so now we go around and we find another one! Of course, we couldn't miss it. Oh, of course. <laughs> and down we go. I don't really think I have access to... Other things, right? Well, maybe I. Hmm, I don't. I don't exactly remember because, like, you're supposed to use a certain something to get up to that treasure chest, but I don't think I can actually. Oh, can I? Mm, 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 hold on, I'm gonna play around with some stuff here. 
yeah, I don't think I can do this thing right now, so I'll leave it for now. The thing that I would like to do, I don't... Yeah, this is the house. Oh, they're saying that the tracks never really disappeared. I don't know who to trust anymore. What's more, my husband hasn't come home yet. What happened to him? He's just a decent, nice fellow who likes rabbits. I hope he's all right. Uh, what, I really can't do this now? Huh? I thought I could. Well, basically, um, she is the, the wife of the rabbit guy. And uh, when does this unlock? <laughs> I mean, we, we've begun to take passengers on trips, so I thought this would be, you know, sort of unlocked by now. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the rapid guy first and relay him the message before I can do the thing? Well, uh, let's try it, I suppose. Okay, now, since I forgot the market on the map here and pointed out when I was here before, there should be a rabbit somewhere over on the left side here. Uh, somewhere, somewhere... Looking, looking, don't don't worry, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, okay, what's up there? There we go. <laughs> Might as well grab this as long as we're going back over to Bunny Guy. I don't, like, maybe it'll trigger the... the, the toting, I mean, well... Escort mission, I guess you could say, when we get uh, this dialogue relayed over to said bunny man. But, well, eh, let's just drop off a rabbits at the very least, because we'll be able to get a heart container if we drop off five. So, let's drop them all off. We got ten. Well, someone's been busy hunting bunnies. Let me reward your hard work with 90 rupees. Goodness, you've caught at least five more rabbits already. And here's that amazing prize I promised you. Woo! Yeah, baby! If you can bring me ten bunnies from the grass, you get a prize! Woo! What about your wife, though? <laughs> hey, you don't have a single rabbit! Get back out there and snag me some bun- <laughs> Um... It does- Oh, I got eleven, not ten. Well... <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't actually detract your, from your counter up here, so that's a nice way of keeping track how many you have out of 50. So, yeah, but it doesn't tell you how many of each area you've done, so... Yeah, that's why I got those separate little keep tracker dealios over on the right side there. <laughs> so, are you ready to frolic with the bunnies? I said, are you ready to frolic with the bunnies? I can't hear you! Blow into the microphone. Yeah, now those are some pipes. Let's get frolicking! <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I'm done frolicking with the rabbits. Woohoo! Yay, rabbits! Frolicking fluffiness! Happy days all over the place!